Hey guys, welcome back to Nurse Jenks. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you guys can be more successful as nurses. So for the past couple of years, I've actually been able to decrease my work from full-time to part-time and yet maintain my standard of living. So we're gonna go over some of the ways that I've achieved this in this video. So if you're interested in doing something similar for yourself, then keep watching. So definitely increasing your salary is going to be one of the most effective and easiest things that you guys can do to make more money. I've already made that video, so I'll link that video somewhere up here so you guys can check that out if you haven't already seen that video. But definitely try to maximize your salary because even if you're not gonna work, the exact same amount of hours, you wanna get paid the most money that you can for every hour that you work to just maximize your time and your productivity. The next thing that we're gonna go over, and I'm just gonna briefly touch on this in this video because there is a wealth of information on other YouTube channels and online, is to really nail your personal finances. So I'll talk about some of the biggest things off the top, but I'm not gonna get too far into the weeds here. So obviously you're gonna want to get out of debt, use credit cards, but only use them for the rewards. Don't accrue interest on those credit cards because that's just like throwing money into the garbage. Try to make a lean budget and stick to that budget and live well below your means. And then try to get into investments that let you benefit from compounding interest. Index funds are generally a great choice. I don't know why, but so many people just don't really seem to understand personal finance. And if you're one of those people, then you're probably missing out on tons of opportunities to save money and possibly even make more money. And you know, it's just gonna blow your mind. So definitely check out personal finance and definitely get your house in order when it comes to your personal finances. We're gonna talk about a passive revenue income stream that is unique to nursing because this is a nursing channel. So I'm going to ask you guys to start a business and to engage your inner creative and entrepreneurial side. So for me personally, I started Nurse Janks back in 2015. Initially, I just wanted to make a website and start writing articles. It was a way for me to have a hobby and to kind of start imparting all of the knowledge that I have gained from all of the years in nursing school, having taken and passed the NCLEX and having worked for a few years at that point as an RN. So I knew that other people were on similar journeys that I had already gone through up until that point and I knew that maybe the information that I had and some of the tips and tricks and ideas that I had could be valuable to those people and so if I put them down on a medium, it would be worth something to other people. So for me, I had already made websites in the past and kind of dabbled in graphic design early on in my life in like high school and stuff like that. So I, I knew how to do that kind of stuff already. So for me, setting up a website was fairly easy, but for all of you, maybe you don't have that skill set. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you probably invest all of your time and energy into learning those things because it can take quite a while, there's a lot to it. Instead, you might get a quicker, easier setup through one of the professional options that are out there, big names that come to my mind are something like Squarespace or Wix. You guys can easily create a personal website for yourself. It's gonna cost you some money to start it, but once you're running, you know, you'll be able to start making some money. But honestly, if I had to do it all over again, I don't even know that I would necessarily create the website, at least not initially, unless of course the demand was there for it later on. But I think I actually would probably start off on some of the social media platforms out there like Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. So there are a couple advantages to going on to an established platform like YouTube, for example, versus trying to start and maintain your own platform out of scratch. Firstly, just the process of getting a platform up and running. For example, if you were to create your own website and get everything up and running, it is a lot more difficult than it is to just start a YouTube channel. The second big advantage that I can think of to going with an established platform like YouTube is that they already have an established audience. So if you were to create your own website, you're gonna have to get everything optimized to the point where you can appear in Google searches and hope that people can find you because you can have the best content out there, but if nobody sees your content, then nobody's gonna click on it and you're never really gonna get noticed, you're never gonna be able to make money through selling ads and stuff like that because nobody has even found you. Versus something like YouTube, they already have an existing audience base that they've been collecting data on. So since YouTube knows so much about its users and its audience, it can essentially direct people to videos that it thinks would be of value to them. So basically, for anything that you guys want to talk about or to make your own business about, YouTube can probably find you an audience and it will probably be a lot easier for you guys to start growing an audience on YouTube versus on your own with a website. Either way, you're gonna be able to run ads eventually on your content. So on your own website, you could run ads basically immediately. I don't think there's really any requirement. But on YouTube, they're actually gonna make you get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours before you can actually participate in the YouTube partnership program where they actually let you make some money off of serving ads on your videos. So definitely ads are one of the easiest and most popular ways that people make money online, either on YouTube or just on their own website is just by running ads and making money off of that. 
The second way that people make money is through affiliate links. So for example, Amazon affiliate links are probably the most popular ones that you guys are used to seeing. And so if someone links to a product, for example, and it goes over to Amazon, if somebody actually buys that product or if they buy another product on Amazon, the person who referred them with the initial link is actually going to make a small commission off of that sale that that person ended up making on Amazon. One of the best ways to make money with your side business is to cultivate an audience that is large enough for you to actually have some sort of leverage in order to be able to talk with bigger brands and advertisers to kind of come up with direct agreements and deals with them. So for example, for Nurse Jenks, we have actually developed an affiliate agreement with Hearst Review. So as part of this agreement, we have unique discount codes that we can give to people that when they use those discount codes, they're gonna save some money on Hearst products. We're gonna receive a small commission and then Hearst is gonna get additional sales from us essentially recommending their product or advertising for it. Link down below if you guys are interested in some Hearst discount codes, you get the exact same products, you just save some money, and then it's a great way to help support our channel as well. But yeah, affiliate programs like that are a great way to make extra money and they can really add up if you convert a lot of sales. Now, I would recommend you only would participate with brands that are obviously specific to your audience. So for us, for example, we're a nursing channel, we're a nursing brand. So of course we're gonna be wanting to work with affiliate programs and advertisers like Hearst who are also in nursing and who have quality products. You're not gonna to wanna to recommend a crappy product because then your audience is gonna be distrustful of you and you don't want that. So, you know, pick good products if you want to establish any kind of affiliate marketing brands, but they can be quite lucrative. So those are the biggest ways that we make money here with Nurse Jinx. We've got the ads on both the website and YouTube. We've got affiliate links from like Amazon, and then we have affiliate relationships directly with advertisers and brands like Hearst. So in total, the combination of all of these strategies, for example, maximizing your salary, really dialing in your personal finances and starting a side business for yourself can really help you take yourself from working full-time in order to working part-time or PRN, but maintaining the same or similar cash flow to the point where you can maintain a similar standard of living without working nearly as much. And isn't that the goal of life is to enjoy it and not have to work as often, but yet maintain the same benefits? It is to me, and if it is to you, I hope that you guys can use these strategies to help you achieve the same goals. If you guys have any comments or other suggestions of how to increase your personal success as a nurse, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear those. If you've liked this video, if you found this information valuable, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for new videos, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.